गुड इवनिंग व्यूअर वेलकम टू और ग्लोरी ग्लोब टीवी यस ब्रेकिंग न्यूज यस बेंजामिन नेता न्यूज एड्रेस टू द जॉइंट मीटिंग ऑफ द यूएस कांग्रेस ऑन वेनेसडे वाज मार्क्ड बाय मल्टीप्लाई स्टैंडिंग ओवेशंस बट नॉट एस मच एस पीएम नरेंद्र मोदी हैज रिसीव्ड ड्यूरिंग इस एड्रेस लास्ट ईयर इन जून 2023 ट्वाइस स्टैंडिंग ओवेशन were given from both sides of the chamber when Netanyahu praised President Joe Biden. Another standing ovation was prompted when Netanyahu condemned political violence following the assassinations attempt on Donald Trump as reported by Times Now. However, when Netanyahu praised former President Donald Trump for the Abraham Accords, applause and cheers came from Republicans while Democrats remained seated. A significant applause was received by Netanyahu as he concluded his speech, calling for a long-standing relationship between the U.S. and Israel. Members from both parties stood to applaud the 74-year-old leader, with only a few protesting his speech during the event. Notably, President Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris, and other prominent senators such as Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Benny Sanders and Brian Satch who were among the six Democrat senators who did not attend the speech. Comments from observers included remarks that Netanyahu would not receive such a reception anywhere in Israel and that the ovations were more for the state of Israel than for Netanyahu personally as per local media reports. One user noted that despite differing opinions, the standing ovation for Netanyahu was seen as justified due to the brutal attack on Israel by Hamas. Netanyahu concluded his speech with a call for unity between America and Israel, stating, when we stand together, something really simply happens, we win, they lose. Beyond this exclusive report, Glory Globe TV, Delhi, Bharat.